Hi everyone, welcome to this tarot read. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, we're going to jump on into it. And remember guys, this is going to be a general read. As the message might resonate with you or it might not. That's just fine. Uh, you might even find that sort of bits and pieces of this read speak to you and that's fine too. Take whatever messages feel right to you. Those are the ones that are meant for you. Door to value. The thinking <laughs> I was gonna tell you guys, I'm getting I'm getting an impression straight off the hop with this. This is like the grass is always greener. Somebody's always looking for a better opportunity. Uh, this is what I see in these cards. We're gonna grab a few more to go along with these. Walking away, yeah. Uh, this is somebody, like I said, like they're always looking for opportunity, something that looks shiny or something that looks newer, something that looks like it's going to be more beneficial and like constantly moving and walking away from things like this person won't just settle into something and commit and make it something good as like the first little hint of whatever, or it's not pleasant or it's going to take a bit of effort and they see something else shiny, they're like going that way but it's if you never put the time and effort in you're always going to be moving you're always going to be moving on to something this is somebody who doesn't who doesn't invest in anything journey victory oh the heart chakra and action UK. Okay. This is somebody's life journey. This is somebody's universal life lesson, a universal life path that they need to take for themselves. These are lessons that they need to learn. Hard lessons. These are hard lessons. And that's why we had that journey card come in here. This is somebody's journey to walk on their own. And it does have to do with matters of the heart with this fourth chakra. It is your heart chakra. This is somebody's going to learn a lesson. This is somebody's going to learn a lesson about this constantly walking away, looking for something shiny, looking for something new, never investing their time or emotion to build something up into something beautiful. Everything takes effort. And this person has not put effort into like anything so far. They just keep moving on and moving forward to to whatever they think is easy. It's like they think the next thing that they step into is just going to be like a magic happily ever after and nothing ever is because that's not the way that life works they're going to be learning this lesson here let's see what the gilded tarot has to say we'll get more clarification on what's going on here that one too See, this King of Pentacles, this is going to represent this person's energy. This is somebody uh, who's always looking for success, somebody who's always looking for... <sighs> and they're very confident in their choices and moving from one thing to the next. They're always just looking for something shiny. I Like, the word wealth comes to mind, but not actually monetary wealth. And not, not necessarily just monetary wealth. This is like all aspects of their life that they live this way. So it is in career. Uh, it's also in romance as well, though. Always sort of moving from one thing to the next. Never setting down roots. Never establishing anything. Never putting that foundational work into building what they're actually wanting, right? They want a happily ever after kind of story of they don't want to put the time in and this is this nine of wands is them perfectly these are all the wands in the past that they've walked away from every time something gets hard they're just like move on to something new move on to something new until they got like this big pile of things that they stepped away from in the past and the eight of cups says it too it's like they just keep moving on moving on. okay this isn't working out okay we had a disagreement uh we had a whatever the fuck it now I'm moving. I'm going to go move on to this. I'm going to go move on to that. I'm going to just keep moving. It's like they won't stop. They won't stop. They won't settle down. They won't put roots down. And this is... See, this is... Oh, okay. That's where that Six of Cups fits in. It ties to the Journey card. This is somebody's life lesson. They're, they're being taught a lesson from the universe here uh, within this read, and, and it'll keep going as we pull more cards. 
about learning from the past, learning from their mistakes of the past. This is what's coming about. There's a situation that they're either in right now or they're coming into. That's their opportunity to learn from this behavior and make a change and be able to manifest the things that they want. Because, I mean, this person, whoever they are, whatever jerk things they've done, I can feel in the cards that on some level they're like everyone else. They want happiness and abundance. Okay, whatever form that takes, because for each of us it's going to be different. This person wants that too, happiness and abundance. And they're just going about it the wrong way, right? Like you got to put the work in to be able to manifest these things that you want in your life. And this is part of the lesson that they're going to be given the opportunity to learn that yes, you can manifest these things. You are capable of having these things in your life, but you have to put the work in to be able to do it. And that is the universe being involved. This high priestess, these secrets being uncovered. See, this is like the opportunity for them to be able to dig deep and uncover these secrets for themselves. It's an opportunity from the universe, from the powers that be, to help this person gain some perspective and kind of like get their shit together and grow up. Because they're kind of living, they're kind of living in a, in like a page mentality and a storybook mentality where they think everything is just uh, going to be magically okay. Like they're going to step into something new and it's just going to be instantly happily ever after. And they don't want to put that work in anytime there's some sort of friction, some sort of disagreement, uh, some sort of something that doesn't feel pleasant. They're just like up and looking for the next thing, always looking for the next opportunity. Uh, part of it is a lack of sort of knowing how to communicate. It's a lack of knowing how to communicate. I think it's a lack of more than a few things. Uh, immaturity in a lot of different aspects like this page energy. And it's because they don't stick in a situation long enough to learn how to overcome obstacles, to overcome hurdles. Uh, they're just used to sort of up and leaving and looking for something different. But it really does them a disservice in this life because uh, they never get to learn those lessons, those hard lessons. They never get to build up those skills and those strengths. So they're always looking for someone else to fix it or for a quick fix. I'm going to grab a few more cards here. Ah, uh, okay. And that's why this is coming forward here. Because somebody's healing from this. Somebody's healing from them walking away from them doing this thing that they do, not investing the time, uh, like anytime shit gets rough and just sort of buggering off. They left somebody with a broken heart. Uh, they were sort of like this devil energy, not like Satan the devil, but just a destructive force. They were a destructive force in somebody's life that somebody is still struggling to heal from. They're struggling to heal from the emotional wounds that this person caused with their behavior. Because this person moved on to something that they thought was going to be this nine of cups. They moved on to something that they thought was going to be wish fulfillment, right? Because this is what they do. Anytime there's friction, we're going to we're gonna up and leave and look for a new opportunity. So they thought that they had found some new opportunity. They thought that they have found something uh, better, something shinier, something easier. That's the key word for this person, easier. Uh, I have a sneaking suspicion it didn't turn out that way. We're going to grab more of these Gilded Tarot. Ooh, there we go. There's a bunch that wanted to pop out. The Nine of Swords. Yeah, so whatever this was that they went to, this did not turn out the way that they wanted it to. And this is where they're at sort of now, this this Nine of Swords. So now they're, they're feeling sorry for themselves, really fucking sorry for themselves. Uh, starting to look at what they had before this situation where they were a destructive force to somebody because that person that they left that person was solid that person could get counted on that was somebody who is worth building someone uh building something with so putting in that time putting in the effort investing the emotion this was an opportunity to have that happily ever after and we all know it's not easy and it was never going to be perfect uh, but th this was someone solid this was someone they could build it with and they stepped away from this opportunity to go to something uh, that was not that something that was never going to have the potential for that and now they're starting to look back at this they're starting to look back at it 
and realize that this person, whoever they stepped away from, who's healing from them, this person actually embodied those traditional values, sort of embodied the potential to have that long lasting connection, that happily ever after. And they're realizing that if they would have just fucking stuck it out and done the work, this was something that they could have had with this person. See, this is why it's all coming out in the read. This is why we have the journey card. This is part of this person's life journey and gaining some insight and growing the fuck up and sort of uh, finding a new perspective and learning that everything takes effort. Partnerships take effort. Uh, they don't just randomly work. Full card, new perspective. This person is starting to gain a new perspective on partnerships. And we do have judgment. Judgment is like karma. She's getting back what you put out into the world, which makes absolute sense for this person. If this person doesn't want to put the effort in, they're never going to see the results that they want. I feel like this is the opportunity. This is the time. This is the time when they can gain this insight and when it has the potential to really take hold in their mind and make a difference in their life at the end of the day. It is ultimately up to this person. Uh, whether this is something that they choose, this... This person who was hurt by them, this is severed. So no matter how much they think about what happened here, no matter how much they regret it, all I can feel in this line of cards from this in the past, that is done. That door is closed. It's over with. This person would not accept them back in their life. So they really fucking shit the bed with that one. They shit the bed with that one because this was somebody who they could have had that with and they could have built it with and they fucked that right up. And that's not going to be a thing that can occur again. That's not going to be a choice or an opportunity that's going to exist again. That one's just over and done with. But this person at the very least has the chance to gain some insight and to grow up. We had the Knight of Cups come flying out of there. So the Knight of Cups is this emotional victory. This is, I see in it, aha, like an aha moment. I think that's what Oprah called it. It's like this moment of, of insight of, oh, fuck, I did this to myself. Oh, fuck, I could have had what I wanted over here if I just would have stuck it out, if I just would have put the effort in. And it's like this deep regret. There might be within that regret an understanding that if they want this happily ever after in the, in the future, now they know that they have to work for it. They can't continue this same uh, move from one, one place to the next kind of behavior, this nomadic behavior. They have to work on setting down roots. Knight of Pentacles, in it for the long haul. They have to be a steady eddy if they want someone else to be a steady eddy. You have to you have to have that even give and take. You can't expect somebody to be something for you that you're not willing to be for them. And then, really? Fuck. And then I pulled the Six of Pentacles, which is exactly even give and take. It's that even give and take back and forth. You can't just take, take, take and expect that somebody's going to keep give, give, giving. Because no one's going to fucking have that. At least not for very long. And then the resentment is too strong. And that's just going to be the end of that connection. And that's what they've experienced here. They took way too freaking much for granted. They treated this person too much like they didn't matter. And then just moved on when they thought they found a better opportunity. And this person was just left to heal a broken heart. This person is not going to open their heart up to them again. They're going to have to go seeking somebody else now. Who has that same opportunity and potential because this one and this one had it this one wants nothing to fucking do with them anymore and they're gonna have to dig deep they're gonna have to dig deep to to take the risk on someone to invest in someone, to open up their heart, to be vulnerable to someone, because this might be where it stems from, is that they have this fear of being vulnerable, this fear of, of not being in control and having their heart broken. So it's like a leave them before they leave me kind of thing. But then you're never going to get what you want. You have to stay. You have to open yourself up. You have to be vulnerable. You have to invest. If you want somebody to do the same for you, right? Even give and take. You can't expect to hold back and have everyone just keep giving to you forever and ever chasing you around. They're feeling pretty fucking sorry for themselves right now. There's a whole lot of regret. A whole lot of regret in the situation that they moved to that they thought was going to be good. That went to shit. But then also realizing what they stepped away from when they could have just stuck it out and done the work and it had the potential to give them what they wanted. 
All right, you guys, we are going to pull an energy card. So we're going to use these crystal cards. Uh, we'll let one card come forward. And this will be the energy card for this read. <laughs> Absolutely fucking perfect. I couldn't, couldn't have had a better card come out. Crystal, or sorry, clear quartz. Get crystal clear. This person needs some fucking perspective. I do feel in the cards, this person is actually starting to gain this perspective. And all of this had to happen for a reason for this person. All this, this thing that they went to needed to go to shit so that they could gain the perspective on what they left behind and start to really grow and get their shit together. Because this is, this is their life journey. This is their universal path that they are on. This is an opportunity uh, I know opportunity probably feels like the worst word to use, but this is an opportunity that was put in their path to be able to do some learning and some growing and to do some changing. Alrighty guys, if you enjoyed that read, if you found value in it, uh, please hit that like button, that subscribe button. It definitely helps me get these messages out there and have a great rest of your day, everyone. Take care.